So all our family, how are you do? How are you? It's a new year. In fact, it's a new month already. Can you believe it? Very importantly, it's been a time of reflection and planning for us at Swallow. You know, we have been seeking to hear from the Lord as we plan for the new season ahead. What have we been hearing from the Lord? What has He been saying to you? What has He been saying to me? Well, if you've been following our platform teaching series since January, you'll note that we have been studying the book of 1 Peter under the general theme, between a rock and a hard place. The question is, what should we do in those circumstances when we face trials, hardships, and suffering? We have been encouraged from God's word when we are between a rock and a hard place to look up to God and stand in our identity and in the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have so far shared on rock solid, persevering like Peter, holy by his grace and unchained by his grace. If you have missed any of these messages, you can access these on our YouTube channel. We also had the privilege in January of having Jamaican missionaries, our brother Dr. Donald Stewart and his wife Andrea, who are serving in Ghana. They came and visited and shared with us at Swallow. Donald delivered a powerful reminder to us that the harvest is plentiful, but dot, 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 the laborers are few. And we really should pray to the Lord of the harvest, our Lord Jesus, to send out laborers into his harvest. And I want to pause to let you know, and, and as a speak of missionaries, to share with you that our beloved sister, Linda Lowe, retired missionary to Hong Kong, who was commissioned, in fact, you know, strongly linked with us at Swallow, and was a member of the Jamaica Chinese Christian Church. She went home to be with the Lord on Monday, to her eternal home. We want to pray God's comfort for her family and for the many who will miss her friendship. Sister Linda was very kind to Brenda, my wife, and myself. She told me, you know, that she prayed for us every Sunday morning. Back to things at Swallow. You know, as church, we intentionally set aside time this week past to seek the Lord. We commenced on Tuesday, January 30, a three-day period of prayer and fasting. And this will be followed by our all-night prayer meeting on Friday, February 2, starting at 10 p.m. through to 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. You know, the word that keeps resonating throughout is consecration and holiness. We hear God's calling us to be holy as I, the Lord, am holy. And we know that this is only possible by God's grace as we are empowered by His Holy Spirit. As we look ahead, I want to share with you briefly a few ways to help us connect to God and the community of faith and to grow as followers of Jesus and as we say at Swallow, to serve. If you're not yet baptized, join our baptism class. And if you're a believer and not yet a member of the church, join our members class. We want to encourage you as well to join one of our small groups. Register for one of our adult Christian education classes to help you take your next step in the discipleship journey. And join a connect group, you know. The scripture says, iron sharpens iron. These groups are opportunities for us in, in a small context to have life and life experiences and to provide opportunities for us to connect, grow and serve. You may want to check out one of our medium groups. There's Crossroad 14's Arise for Our Ladies. Mellow, men empowered to live lives of honor. There's Meetup, our young adult-led ministry and making our relationships extraordinary more, which is our couples ministry. Parents, I want to remind you that our Sunday school has resumed and is in full swing for children ages three to 13 years old. And then a special event coming up is a special night, worship night on Monday, February 12 at number nine, which will be led by Meetup. Join us. And also, I want to ask you to pencil this in on your calendar. Saturday, March 9, will be our Swallowfield Chapel Cleanup Day. We invite you to join us as we do a thorough cleanup of our campus from number 5 through to number 7 to number 9. It's an all-day affair. This note for more details on how you can get involved. We need all hands on deck. And guess what? We're going to have some when we're row about. Let's be praying for each other and supporting one another as together we seek to be and make disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God's richest blessings and stay attuned to his voice. Looking forward to seeing you soon. God bless.